Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to paint this fun portrait and first I'm just going to go over our supplies. So the only things you're going to need is a pencil, eraser, Copic marker, and black pen for fine lining. Now I'll go over the colors of Copic marker as we get into it. So let's begin. Now take a fine liner black pen to fill in the eyeliner. The next step will be shading the eye. First start with a dark outline around the iris. Finish with a light blue wash. Outline the edges of the eye with a pale gray and pink. Last, add light to the eye by using a white gel pen to create highlights in water. After we color the eyes, let's move on to the eyebrow. Start by pulling your brush up from the brow bone to feather hair outward. This will give your brow a natural look. Alright, so now let's move on to skin tone. For skin tone, I use five different Copic marker colors. The colors are RV00 Water Lily, Cotton Pearl E00, Blush R20, Ash Rose E70, and Cocoa Brown E74. So this is going to be our base tone, the Cotton Pearl. Water Lily is going to be for our warm highlights. Blush is going to be for our warm shadows, Ash Rose is our cool shadows, and then we're going to be outlining our darkest spots with Cocoa Brown. As we start to shade the eyelid, use color Cotton Pearl for a base. Next add Water Lily for warm undertones and blush for soft shadows. Finish with color Ash Rose for your darkest shadows and fine lines. In the next section, we will be focusing on the forehead. Again, we will be using our base color Cotton Pearl to get started. Go in and shade with Cotton Pearl along with Water Lily for warm highlights. Finish with color Ash Rose for shadows. Now let's focus on the nose. Using Cotton Pearl, block out two base shadows on either side of the bridge of the nose. Add Water Lily and Blush for warm shadows, especially on the ball of the nose. Finish with ash rose and dark brown for fine lines and deep shadows. For the remaining skin tone, use color Cotton Pearl as your base. Go in and add blush and dark brown for shadows. Make sure you use the brush side tip of your Copic marker if you want smooth colors that blend easily. I also love using the brush tip for fine lines and details. Now let's move on to the lips. Begin by blocking out the deepest shadows with color dark red. Then go in and add pure pink for the base. Finish with water lily for highlights. The last step is to go in with a gel pen if you want to add a glossy look.
Let's add the final details to the frames of our glasses by going in with a white gel pen and adding in the reflected light. This really gives your frames some depth. Now let's add in reflections to the glasses by coloring in and smudging sections using the white gel pen. Finally, let's finish our drawing by picking a hair color. I'm going to pick blue. And then just start in by blocking the base color and finish by adding highlights. Once you're done with your hair, you're all finished with this illustration. Thanks so much for watching.